Life is gonna be great. I'm Ligaya Grace and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Please join us as we continue our adventure in the beautiful state of South Australia. Our accommodation, Hotel Grand Chancellor, made our stay in Adelaide CBD worthwhile. And if you're into shopping, Hubbard Town Premium Outlet Store is not to be missed. I felt that the items there were cheaper and clothing stores had more options to offer as compared to say DFO here in Melbourne I don't know maybe I'm mistaken but that's what I felt at that time we also visited Handorf the oldest German town in Australia and since South Australia is famous for its wines we had to go to Barossa Valley and see for ourselves before we proceed, if you find this video helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, please give this video a thumbs up. It would really mean a lot to me. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started! Since we arrived early at our hotel, the Grand Chancellor, we requested a luggage drop-off. We noticed that even the flight attendants from Virgin Australia stayed at our chosen hotel too. Once you get inside the hotel, it is decent and nice. I liked how they have a map of Adelaide near the reception, why such to the feel of the hotel. This hotel is located in Adelaide city centre, therefore easy access to restaurants and bars, even a mall. We checked Harbour Town Centre, largest outdoor shopping area in Adelaide, with 120 stores. Our room was ready when we came back. The executive queen room was decent sized. It was in the fourth floor. And what I liked about it was there was a PowerPoint on each side of the bed. They also supplied coffee, tea, there's a kettle underneath, and milk in the fridge. Also two water bottles. The hotel has a pool on level 1, although I did not see anyone there. On the way to the pool was a gym as well. The next day, we went to Handorf and the Barossa Valley.
We had our morning tea at Handorf, a contemporary village proud of its German heritage. We walked along the main streets and I really like the vibe here. The main street has many buildings dating back to the 1800s when it was occupied by the German immigrants back in 1838. Before heading to the Barossa Valley, we stopped at a few wineries to taste some wine. After having lunch, our tour guide drove us to the Barossa Valley Chocolate Company. Their products are of excellent quality. We bought white chocolate with honeycomb and my only regret was I didn't buy enough. There is a viewing window to see how chocolates are being made. So many options to choose from this place. Our tour was full on. We continued tasting wines as Barossa Valley is known to produce fine wines and I totally agree 100%. 
I think our tour guide saved the best for last. As we passed by the Sepals Field Road, we only had a glimpse of Sepals Field, but it was enough to have our full attention listening to the history of the Sepals family. The sight of 100 mature palm trees lining the road was so nice to look at. This was surely a great finish to our day. We availed the buffet breakfast at the hotel on our last day. For a non-hotel guest, full buffet breakfast cost $32, but since we stayed at the hotel, we only had to pay $29 each. I noticed their cereals are individually packed and in my opinion it was better to retain freshness Oh, it's so good to be free Your rules don't apply to me, no I blow away all the pressure To measure up to what don't mean a thing Oh, it's so good to be free, yeah. No slave to Hi everyone, we've just arrived at Adelaide Airport the hotel was really good at Grand Chancellor, right in, in the heart, Kindly Street. Kindly Street, right in the heart of Adelaide. Yeah, nice place. It uh, pretty well kept, um, considering it was full. Yesterday we went on a really good tour to the Barossa Valley uh, and, and Handorf as well, uh, which was nice. That was a full day tour with some friends. That was good value for money. Good lunch. Um, a good lunch. Overall, our experience has been really great. As I said to, said to Grace before that we've packed a lot in six days, um, which we knew we would be, would be doing. So, yeah, this will coming to the end of our trip. We're just waiting at the airport now for our Jetstar flight, which will be in a couple of hours. So, we'll be back in Melbourne by this evening. Lots of really nice places that we've seen so hopefully you enjoy you could fly a kite with our shoes off bus on the boom box weather never too hot little breezes all i need and off to the races watch it fly like a spaceship you're taking me places starry eyed and complacent we could fly a kite with our shoes off bus on the boom box weather never too hot little breezes all i need and Watch it fly like a spaceship You're taking me places Starry-eyed and complacent Watch it go 